fans had hoped for. Some reportedly walked out just minutes after the opening song. With claims concert goers were being ripped off for a lip sync song and dance, some of Britney's fans illustrate why lip syncing might not be such a bad choice. Ooh, baby, baby, oops, I did it. Just one of her many fans hoping to catch a glimpse of Britney as she left her hotel to perform at her first Australian concert in Perth last night. Finally, she emerged. Outside the Burswood venue, people dressed appropriately, eager to be part of Britney's circus. You're at the front of the line. What are you looking forward to tonight? Oh. Seeing her in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, just been waiting for this since we were like 12. She's one hot mama. <laughs> but from the moment the curtain went up, it was clear the star was miming to a pre-recorded track. Today there were mixed reviews. Fans disappointed by poor sound and a lack of big screens. Others delighted with the show. Despite thousands of people turning out to see Britney at her first Australian concert, fans are still divided on whether they should be paying for lip syncing. Are you going to boo her if she starts no. lip syncing? I know she's going to lip syncing. She's going to be lip syncing, but it doesn't matter. Right. But it's still wrong. Do you mind that she lip syncs? Oh, no, because I love her dancing. She is like. The bomb. Spears will perform a second show tonight in Perth before her national tour heads to Melbourne. Christian DeGarris, 10 News. Britain tells the Afghan government to clean up its act. We'll have the details next. And the talent scouts looking for the next generation of Paralympic hopefuls. Yeah, stand up on the, um, on the podium with the medals representing Australia would be, be a good dream.